the history of ancient Rome is marked by a succession of emperors who wielded immense power and influence over the Roman Empire. The period known as the Five Good Emperors stands out as a remarkable era of stability, wise governance, and relative prosperity. From Nerva to Marcus Aurelius, these five emperors navigated the complexities of ruling an expansive and diverse empire, leaving behind a legacy that shaped the trajectory of Roman history. This video explores the lives, achievements, and contributions of the five good emperors and their impact on the Roman Empire. The reign of Nerva marked the beginning of the five good emperors period. His ascent to power came after the assassination of the tyrannical Du Mi Shen, which had left the Roman Empire in a state of uncertainty and unrest. Nerva was already in his 60s when he became emperor, which made him one of the older rulers in Roman history at the time of his accession. Nerva's reign, while brief, set the tone for the subsequent emperors in this era. He adopted a conciliatory approach towards the Senate and initiated policies to alleviate the grievances of the lower classes. Recognizing the importance of addressing the plight of the common people, Nerva implemented measures to alleviate some of the economic hardships faced by the lower classes. He initiated public works projects and provided financial aid to poor citizens, demonstrating his commitment to improving the welfare of the population. One of Nerva's most notable achievements was his introduction of the policy of adopting an heir, a practice aimed at ensuring a smooth transition of power and avoiding contested successions. This innovative approach laid the groundwork for future rulers, particularly those of the Five Good Emperors era, to follow suit. Nerva's adoption of Trajan as his successor set a precedent for selecting capable and qualified individuals rather than strictly relying on bloodlines. Born in Spain, Trajan was the first Roman emperor to come from outside Italy. Under Emperor Trajan, the Roman Empire experienced a period of expansion and military success. His reign, spanning from 98 to 117 AD, is renowned for its military triumphs, territorial expansion, and monumental public projects. Already a successful military commander, by the time he was adopted by Nerva Trajan, was popular with the army, and it is perhaps no surprise that he is remembered for his military successes. His campaigns are characterized by the Dacian Wars, during which he secured the province of Dacia, modern-day Romania, through two victorious campaigns. These conquests not only expanded the empire's borders, but also brought immense wealth and resources to Rome. The annexation of Dacia provided valuable minerals and access to key trade routes, bolstering the Roman economy. His successful campaign against the great Roman enemy Persia gained him the provinces of Armenia and Mesopotamia, and Roman influence reached the Persian Gulf. Trajan's reigns were also included an impressive building program which reshaped both the capital and the provinces. He built impressive public works, the greatest of which being the new forum in Rome, which included the famous Trajan Column. The iconic column stands at a height of approximately 98 feet and spirals up with a continuous frieze depicting over 2,500 figures in over 150 scenes. Despite his military triumphs and public projects, Trajan is also remembered for his equitable administration, which sought to balance the interests of the wealthy elite and the common populace. On his deathbed, Trajan adopted Hadrian, a young military commander, as his successor. Hadrian's reign is marked by a strategic re-evaluation of Rome's military priorities. A 
Unlike his predecessors, Hadrian turned his attention to consolidating the empire's borders and ensuring their defensibility. He famously ordered the construction of Hadrian's Wall in Britain, stretching across the northern frontier as a means of fortifying the empire's hold on the island and regulating trade and movement. Hadrian's Wall still stands today, a monument to the emperor's legacy. He is renowned for his extensive travels throughout the empire known as the Grand Tour, which allowed him to assess the conditions of various provinces and implement necessary reforms. Hadrian spent more than a third of his time outside of Rome, overseeing construction projects and inspecting troops. Hadrian's reign rushed in a period of artistic and cultural flourishing. He was a notable patron of the arts, fostering the development of literature, philosophy, and architecture. The most iconic architectural project associated with Hadrian is the construction of the Pantheon in Rome, a feat of engineering and a testament to his appreciation for grandeur and innovation. Like Trajan, Hadrian chose his successor on his deathbed Antoninus Pius, thus continuing the adoptive heir tradition of the five good emperors. But this time, he had also chosen Antoninus's successor, Marcus Aurelius. Antoninus Pius is often characterized as a peaceful and benevolent ruler. His reign was marked by a commitment to maintaining stability, both internally and externally. He is credited with instituting a policy of administrative continuity, ensuring a smooth transition of power and the preservation of the empire's harmonious state. Antoninus Pius's commitment to the well-being of the Roman populace was evident through his emphasis on public welfare. He initiated programs to provide relief for the poor, including distributing free grain to the citizens of Rome. Additionally, he allocated funds for public works projects, such as the construction and repair of infrastructure, temples, and buildings, which contributed to economic growth and urban development. The emperor also introduced several legal reforms, including the enfranchisement of freed slaves. His focus on diplomacy and compromise helped solidify the Roman Empire's position as a dominant force in the Mediterranean. The final emperor of the five good emperors, Marcus Aurelius, is perhaps one of the best known. He is widely remembered and celebrated for his philosophical inclinations and his authorship of meditations. Meditations detailed his reflections on Stoic philosophy and continues to be a source of inspiration for individuals seeking personal growth, wisdom, and a deeper understanding of the human experience. Marcus Aurelius faced a number of challenges during his reign. His rule coincided with the Antonine Plague, a devastating epidemic that decimated the population and economy for a decade. Marcus Aurelius approached the plague with a mindset that aligned with his philosophical beliefs. Stoicism stressed the importance of focusing on what one can control and accepting the inevitability of external circumstances. He took concrete measures to provide assistance to those affected by the plague. He allocated resources to provide medical care and support to the sick. During this time, Rome faced external challenges, including invasions by Germanic and Parthian forces. Despite these hardships, his stoic convictions helped him maintain a steadfast resolve and remain focused on his duties as a ruler. He famously stated, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Marcus Aurelius maintained a steadfast commitment to stoic principles, emphasizing duty, self-discipline, and virtue. His rule exemplified the ideal of a philosopher king as he strove to balance his personal reflections with the responsibilities of leadership. Even in the face of adversity, 
Marcus Aurelius upheld the principles of his predecessors and provided a stable foundation for the empire. Marcus was succeeded by his son Commodus. Unlike his predecessors, Commodus's rule is not counted among the five good emperors due to its marked departure from the virtues and practices that had characterized the earlier period. The era of the five good emperors marked a unique period in Roman history characterized by competent and prudent leadership. Nerva, Trajan, Hadrian, Antoninus Pius, and Marcus Aurelius collectively contributed to a legacy of stability, equitable governance, and relative prosperity. Their reigns demonstrated the benefits of adopting policies that catered to the well-being of both the elite and the common people. The five good emperors left an indelible mark on the Roman Empire, influencing subsequent generations of leaders and shaping the course of history. Remember to subscribe for more videos on Rome, its history, and leaders.